We want to take a moment today and look at the send feature uh, that is sitting both on the sales and the purchasing side of Business Central. So if you've ever run a purchase order or a sales order or a sales invoice, you see this little send button. I want to talk a little bit about some configuration options that we have um, uh, with the send feature. So we are going to start with a, uh, let's actually start on the customer side. And I'm going to open up a customer and we're going to start by looking at this document sending profile uh, that's configured on the customer. What this document sending profile allows you to do, I'm just going to open this up, is to pre-configure um, sending profiles. So I can set uh, a profile up to print email. How do I want to send the email if it's an attachment or if it's a PDF? Um, I've got some other uh, disk or electronic document options as well, but this is going to configure them when I hit the send option. Um, what do I want to do uh, with that report? So I've set up one for email and I've got prompt for settings. Um, you could use default settings as well. Um, when I've worked with clients, I've usually started with this prompt for settings option just to make sure it's all configured correctly. Once you've sent something to the customer or um, you know, you've maybe done an invoice run a couple of times, you know everything's working, um, then you can flip this profile over to just use default settings and you don't, uh, you're not prompted with another window during the process. But this is one I have set up for email. And I can show you what I have set up for uh, print. Again, just sending to the printer. Um, and I have said prompt for settings there as well. So I've selected a document sending profile on the customer. And if we drop over to the purchasing side and look at the vendor, we have a, a similar configuration option on the vendor uh, right up here, document sending uh, profile. So same codes uh, that are available both uh, on the AP side um, and the AR side. So let's go back to the customer. Next step in this is to really uh, to look at the or review the document layouts. So if we go to the customer um, under the navigate button, customer down here at the bottom, we have uh, an option for document layouts. What the document layouts uh, allows me to do is to override or set additional uh, values or parameters around uh, report operations. So if you're familiar with the report selection, I'm just going to open that up so we can look at that. So report um, selection options. There's one uh, a report selection for sales and for purchasing. I'm just gonna open up the sales one. And this is where we would configure the default report layout or the standard report layout for a given report. So uh, again, this is the sales order acknowledgement. We're using report ID 1305. Uh, for an invoice, we're using 1306. These can be changed if you want to change what, uh, what default report format you're using just in general. Um, but, but what we're going to look at with this document sending profile is the ability to override that on a customer uh, or a vendor basis. So you can pick uh, a specific document profile you want and punch in the report ID if you want, or uh, they've added this option to copy report selection from the report selection page. So when I click that, uh, what you're going to see is I get a, uh, a list of the reports that have been defined. The standard report ID is now listed in my document layout section for the customer in this case. I do have the ability to select a custom layout. So what that feature allows you to do is if I have uh, invoice format one for all of my customers, but I have a special output, um, maybe it's a, a, you know, a character only output or something like that for a vendor or customer, I can change the default layout then for a specific customer if I want to. The other thing that they've done is they've added the ability um, to send to email from here. So in previous versions, you could still punch in an email address, but you're manually typing it in. So there was no validation necessarily of the email and there was no way to keep it updated. We've added the ability, or Microsoft has added the ability here to select emails from contacts. So when I click on that, I'm going to get a list of the contacts for uh, my customer or vendor. Click OK, and it's now going to drop that uh, email address into the send to email uh, box for that specific report. So drawing the uh, components together here, I say send on the sales invoice. This is going to be the sales uh, invoice format that's used, the report ID that's used. And then when I send via email, this is going to be the set of email addresses or the default email address um, that's incorporated for uh, that particular document. So order confirmations, quotes, invoices could all go to different people potentially uh, if you wanted to. So I'm going to say okay to that and then let's go over to the purchasing side, look at the vendor, pick up my standard vendor. You'll notice document sending profile as we talked about before is still there. If I navigate uh, to my vendor and I go to document layouts, 
Similar type of setup is available. I can copy the report selections from my purchasing side. I'm going to get my uh, PO, report, remittance advice, etc. And I again have the option to then connect uh, specific contact email addresses to uh, the report format. Just note uh, over here on the right, this is where I can also configure the body of the email and then what report formats used for the body of the email versus the attachment. So there's some configuration options here that you can change on a uh, per vendor or a uh, customer uh, basis. All right, so let's close that. And then I'm going to close that. And I'm just going to go over to the purchasing side and we'll pull up a purchase order. And if I have my Fabricom purchase order and I use my uh, print and send option. So when I click the send option, so I've now configured my vendor either to default to a print option for the purchase order or an email option for the purchase order. And I as an end user don't have to remember or look up or try to decide uh, what am I supposed to do for the particular vendor. When I hit the send option, what you'll see is uh, what I need is going to be uh, defaulting to me. And again, I prompt, I said prompt for settings, so that's why I'm getting this dialog box. But I could still print it if I wanted to and email it, but you'll notice that uh, the default settings that I have for uh, this vendor now are incorporated into the send process, so I don't have to remember that. Again, if I shut off the prompt for settings uh, checkbox, then this dialog box will not be presented and it'll just automatically uh, email the invoice. Over on the sales side, the one I like to show is actually the sales invoicing side. So if I've got a list of sales invoices, I've got the option to post and send. So I can do all of my invoicing for the day, hit post and send. It's gonna, the system will post the invoice and then based on that document sending profile, either email uh, the document to the customer or print it. So got some um, great success stories here uh, with clients implementing this uh, send option big time saver, uh, as well as eliminating sort of that decision process uh, in the um, in the document processing to know, well, was this supposed to be emailed or uh, was it supposed to be printed? And again, you can put multiple uh, email addresses on the document sending profile. So I hope that helps uh, with the configuration of the send option.